Good evening. My name is Pastor Victor Mukotlo. It's an honor for me again to be invited to be one of the guest speakers at Africa Arise 2021. Narahawe, Ichuba Hiro Kongira, Kuba Umme Movijisha, Bomri, Africa Haguruka, Ebumbi, Makunya Vinarim. I give uh, all the praise to the man of God, uh, Dr. Gitwaza. Thank you for inviting us to come once again to bring God's word. Ishimir Yose, Ndarigarira, Umkozwi Mana, Dr. Apostle Paul Gitwaza. Warakoze nanone kongera kuduha aya mahirwe kugira ngo tuze kuvuga ijambo ry'Imana muri iki giterane. The theme this year it's that Africa must embrace change. Umutwe w'amagambo w'uyu mwaka uravuga ngo Africa akira impinduka nziza. And that's what I will be talking about. Nabyo ndibuganireho uyu mugoroba. Let me open up with this word. In our country, there are organizations that are set up to monitor or to manage the lottery. And and these companies, they are different. They're just monitoring and managing companies. One of them that came, they had a slogan. And their slogan was, One day is one day. And Hariho ikigo kimwe cyaje gifite iyi nyito inyito ivuga ngo umunsi uzaba umwe Basically what they are saying is that if you win a lottery one day your life will be changed for good Basha kuvuga ngo umunsi umwe nutsindira amahirwe muri iyi mikino ubuzima bwawe ntago buzongera kumera uko bwari bumeze ukundi buzahinduka So allow me tonight to introduce the topic for tonight and I will call the caption for this meeting tonight one day is one day umutwe wa magambo uyigisho yange ndaza kuwita ngo umunsu uzaba umwe well in this case we are not talking about winning any lottery but we are just talking about Africa embracing the change. Ariko iki gihe cyo ntago no kuvuga gutsindira amahirwe ahubwo turimo turavuga ngo Africa akira impinduka nziza. I have gone through the scriptures. Narebye mu byanditswe and I found in the Bible ko muri the life of Joseph. Bwa I'm going to be using Ndaza the life of Joseph, bwa Joseph to be depicting the Africa. Africa. So when I say so that in future, kizaza, when you read about Joseph, Yosefu, the life of Joseph, Yosefu, what Joseph have gone through, ibyo Yosefu, byose, it should be able to reflect what Africa neza, is going through. I am starting Ndaza in this evening Genesis chapter 37. And I think most of us and if we go on, we have all studied the life of Joseph. And I'm going to pick it up in Genesis chapter 37 and we will start in verse 2. In Genesis 37 in verse 2, he says, this is the story of the history of Jacob. 
Joseph being 17 years old Joseph amaze imyaka 17 avutse was feeding the flock yaragiranaga na bene se intama and the lad was with the sons of Bilha and na bene Bilha na bene Zilpa bakase his father's wife akajya abarira and Joseph brought a bad report to akajya abarira se inkuru yibibi bakora Verse 3 says, Now Israel, Israel loves Joseph more than all his children. Because Kuko he was the son of his old age. Ashaji. Also, Ngo he made him a shereza, of many colors. When we look at the life of Joseph, Yo it was a life of disadvantage. Number one, Joseph was the son Joseph that Joseph, uh, Jacob made when he was old. And this made his brothers to hate him because he Kuvera ko yarumwana waje mu gihe cy'ubusaza bwe. This is the beginning of the Aha n'iryo tangiriro ry'ibibazo by'ubuzima bwa Yosefu. For example, do urugero. Mwa say pastor. Vuga kuba ngo mushumba ese byushatse kuvuga iki? Nobody chooses when to be born. Nta muntu nubwo uhitamo igihavukira. Nobody chooses where to be born. It is the Lord it is the Lord who chooses for us. us. Joseph, Joseph did not choose to be yigeze, born to Jacob when he was old. So it disadvantaged him. That's the first disadvantage. I am saying this to say that Africa is disadvantaged. So, stay with me as we go on to explain the disadvantage of Joseph. How the Lord took the disadvantage and turned it into an advantage. If we go on we find that in this, in this case, in verse 2, his brothers did wrong things. And Joseph will tell the father. And he was not popular among the bro his brothers. He chose to be honest. He could have chosen to be like his, his father, his brothers. But he chose a line of honesty. Which is like what Africa is doing. Most of the trouble Africa is facing is because Africa chooses most of the time God's ways. I remember a couple years back, the international world were isolating certain countries in Africa because those nations refused to recognize certain types of people in their social communities. And there were sanctions no, on those nations because of that. Africa, Africa is disadvantaged. The same way Ninako, Joseph, Joseph chose to face the truth and be honest and be faithful and he was hated. No, so thirdly, in verse 3, in verse 4, but his brother saw that his father 
bamenya yuko ise amukunda more than they do and they hate him and they could not speak peaceably to him now joseph got himself again joseph yongera kwisa joseph had a dream joseph wrote to his brothers and they barushaho kumwanga disadvantaged icyo ni kibazo nobody nta muntu numwe chooses to dream uyu hitamo izozi aryarota nobody nta numuntu numwe chooses the kind of a dream uyu hitamo izozi runaka ari burote but because he was an honest young man ariko kuko yari umunyakuri kandi ari umusore muto he also wanted to identify with his brothers he told them his dream arabwa ati gihe ngiki no no abibabwiye izo nzozi baramwanga kurushaho kandi nanone nibaza ko cyo kibazo Afrika yagize when the lord tell us something igihe imana itubwiye ikintu twihutira kukibwira bene data and they will hate us even no no bakatwanga kurushaho bakatwanga ibi nibyo Afrika iri kugira Joseph ntabwo yahisemo ibyarota in verse 10 kumurongo wa 10 of chapter 37 kumuro kugice cya 37 ngo azirotorera se na bene se aramucyaha aramubaza ati do you think your mother and your father will all come and obey you i'm paraphrasing izo nzozi ni nzozi ki ni ukuri ge na nyoko na bene so tuzaza kwikubita ihasi the same dream zanzozi is when it came to pass niko zaje no gusohora this advantage yuko ibibazo that joseph was going through yuko ibibazo joseph yarimo kunyuramo to save the people that yabashije gukiza abantu bamwangaga and this is exactly kandi kwenyako biri mu kuba muri Afrika wibuke neza ndacyavuga kuri Afrika uburyo Afrika igifite ibibazo bitandukanye after his father rebuked him about it ise amaze kumucyaha one day umunsi umwe his brothers his father sent him to go to Shechem to go and look for him bajya kuragira bene se bajya kuragira umukumbi shekemu israel abwira yosef ati bene se ntibagira umukumbi then comes the dreamer baravuga bati nguri akarosi araje and immediately they said let's kill him nuko baravugana bati reka tumwica nyuma turebe icyo izo zoze zizaba ibi nibyo bintu birimo kuba muri afrika Let's kill Africa. Deka twice Africa maze turebe izo nzozi icyo zizabyara. I can I can quote incidences but I'm not going to go into that. Shobora ibihe bimwe na bimwe Africa yashatse kugira ngo yitwe. Hari ibihe bimwe na bimwe aho hari gahunda yo kugira ngo Africa ikurweho burundu. No no hari umushakashatsi umwe mu gihugu cyacu bagerageje gushaka uburozi bwa kwica Africa nta kintu kimwe cyabasha no kugaragara mu isuzuma ry'umurambo. Ariko Imana nyamana yarinze Africa ya Africa y'ibibazo mu gihe nk'icyo. So he got sold Nonho aragurishwa mu gihe yagurishwaga mu kubishimaire baramujyana baramugurisha mu nzu ya Potifari that's in chapter 39 aho ni ku murongo wa 39 Potiphar's house ageze mu nzu uko kwa Potifa Biblia iravuga ngo ukuboko kuwiteka kwari kuri Yosef Africa Africa the hand ukuboko kuwiteka kuracyari kuri mwebwe you've got to embrace mugomba kwakira impinduka nziza and how it happened no no nyuma ya because the hand of the lord was upon joseph ya kukubako kuwiteka kwari kuri yosefu we know the story iyo nkuru twese turayizi potiphar's wife no no umugore wa potiphar aramukunda cyane he looked at how he was working areba uburyo yakoraga how he feared god uburyo yatinyaga imana and one day no, no, she said to him, umge, come sleep with me aramwohereza no, no, aramutuma no, no. bati ngwino turyamane undi aramuga ati byo sinabikora and she we know the story iyo nkuru twese turayizi aho yagerageje kumufata ku ngufu no no arirukanka umugore arasakuza no no mu gihe asakuza so that joseph was kugira ngo yosefu afungirwe icyaha atakoze 
part of the problem of the continent ikibazo kimwe uyu mugabane ufite ntabwo ari ibyo twagiye dukora bitandukanye joseph ahubwo joseph yashizwe mu nzu y'imbohe azira icyaha tigeze akora na rimwe imagine what goes on in his mind icyo yatekereza mu bwenge yafungiwe the lord kugira ngo kuko yubashye imana there is one thing that I'm still chime, proud of in Africa. Africa. The Africa. fear of the Lord Gutinya is still upon Africa. Africa. Though disadvantaged, no, but the fear of the Lord I want to encourage Africa. Africa. Even as we will be embracing change, no, no, let us not forget. Let us not forget. Reka ntitusigera dutatira the fear of the Lord Imana that is upon us. Imana ya. Let us continue Reka dukomeze dukore mu buzima bwa. Let us continue Reka dukomeze fasting and seeking his face. Kwiyize kandi dushaka mu maso y'Imana. I remember my wife and I. Ndibuka igihe kimwe giye no mufasha wanje igihe gishize twaye turi muri America. Twaye turi mu giterane cy'abanya. And my wife was telling them how we were just coming out of a fast. None ho mu mufasha wanje n'amako abyumvise twa tumaze kwiriza rabo ati ngwiki. You fast. Nebwe mwiriza. Food is so nice. How do you fast? We were, they were shocked to hear that still people who abstained from food not one day, not two days, not ten days, almost three weeks or without food. And they say, what are you asking God for? And we said to them, we want to draw closer to God kwegera imana and it was like we were smelling byasaga nkaho tusana banuka isn't god closer to you to so what else do you, want? you could see wabonaga yuko the hunger to draw closer to god has probably disappeared from some of them. by the way people who were saying this were not members of the church were a group of pastors who are leading big and massive and mega churches it was strange for them to still hear another pastor fasting staying for a month 14 days without food they said you will become skinny you will become sick you can't become sick when you are seeking the Lord I want to encourage Africa do not let the fear of the Lord depart from us let us continue so Joseph no, no, Go to jail. For what he did not do. I, I, I was trying to imagine one time. Some of the countries that have been isolated the assumption because of biblical principles the head in those nations says we will not adopt this kind of a principle it is contrary to God's word and then those powerful nations bring sanctions on them I said I will pray for those nations that ndavuga na yo mahanga nzayasengera bemere kubabara baba bajwe kuko bakunze imana bahagaze bagahagara mahame y'imana the same way joseph ari nako joseph nawe yari ari mu nzu y'imbohe akajya mu nzu y'imbohe azira icyaha atakoze let's continue with this joseph kuri ubu buzima bwa joseph and then while he's in jail no neho ari mu nzu y'imbohe People come one buckler and a baker. They offended Pharaoh. He sent them to jail. They come into prison. In the same prison with Joseph. Joseph as usual. He was doing his job. One day. Both of them had a dream. Oh. Oh. And Joseph. Joseph comes to them and as they were somber they were 
bakonje asanga babijwe bari bihebye cyane bari bihebye kubera kutamenya ubusobanuro bw'inzozo no no Joseph arababwira ati Tse busobanuro bwose bw'inzozi ni buturuka ku iteka no mu gihe cyacu kintege Africa let us not reka nituzigere nituzigira tuva ku ijambo ry'Imana reka duhagarare mu mahame yo bushake bw'Imana no no ni iki cyabaye Joseph interpret their dream. Yosefu abasobanura azanzo zibagije. Noneho zanzo zizabo zisohoye. And they were going away. Barimo kuva mu nzu y'imbohe. Make a statement. Yosefu hari ijambo yababwiye. He says to them. Arababwira ati. Remember me. Muzanyibuke. When the things are well. Nibibagendekera neza muzanyibuke. Speak to Pharaoh about me. Muzanyuganire kuri Pharaoh. So that he could take me out of this. Kugira ngo nange angure muri inzu y'imbohe. Guess what happened? Muzi cyabaye. The one was killed. Wa undi yaje kwitwa. Undi asubizwa mu mirimo ye y'ubwami. For God hanyuma yibagirwa Yosef Burundu How many times Ni kangahe did Africa help Africa yafashije abantu help other nations igafasha andi mahanga they forget noneho bakayibagirwa Burundu I'll give you a few examples Ndaza kubaha ingero zimwe zitandukanye One time my wife and I igihe kimwe giye no mufasha wanje kwa turi mu gihugu cyagana twabaga mu hotel imwe nziza ihaba imwe hotel nziza cyane noneho akenshi nkuko muzi muri hotel muragenda mugenda mukavugana mugasubirana cyangwa se mukicara ahantu mukaganira noneho umufasha wanje atangira kuganira n'undi mugore wari uraho noneho uko abagore baganiraga I was forced to also go and talk Nange biba ngombwa yuko nshaka undi mugabo nkaganira numugabo uwo mufasha uwo mudamu Sinigeze menya ko ndi wakuvugana numugabo ukomeye So we started talking generally Nuno dutangira kuvuga ibintu bisanzwe No no tuza kugera ku bukungu bwagana And I mentioned No neho mvuga Maybe because now no neho ubwo haje kugaragara ibitoro muri Ghana Things will become better for the nation. You know what this man said to me? He said, "Forget it." I said, "Why?" He 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 said, "Why?" ibigo bicukura ibyo bitoro iyo barangije kuyikuramo ama essence nibindi nibo bakira 70% hanyuma leta ikabona ngo tukwijana umutima wanje warababaye cyane kubona ko uyu mugabo wari uri ntigeza nama ni karitse ngo zamuhamagare I found later on he has himself an island for retirement because of the money of the oil. Kubera amafaranga yakuraga mu bitoro. It's helping people Africa irafasha abantu ariko igasigara ifite ibibazo. What about other nations? Yandi mahanga resources like gold. Yandi mahanga afite zahabu afite diama. Nations come and they dig it out. It is the Africans who go and dig out the oil. Dig out the natural resources. 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 Dig out the umutungo wacu kamere ni mujya muri angola you can hardly go and swim in the beach the na hamwe wabona ho kogera mu mazi kubera ibitoro bisaha hari ibintu ari ubutunzi bwinshi bwa mavuta ariko reba ubukene buri muri cyo gihugu ntacyo burimo kubafasha genda muri kongo you actually don't have to dig yewe ho nugombera no gucukura benefiting Ariko, everybody ha cyo ibyo bugufasha umuhari wese abantu baraza bakabyifashisha afrika igasigara in trouble mu byago byayo 
Well, it was after two years. No, no, you ma. You ma, Kibi. Imagine. It was. Two years. In jail. For what you did not do. Kandi na chuzira. Two years. Imya Kibi. You are not being charged. Habgo Urimo Kubura Nishwa, Imya Kibi. There is no charge against you. Ha, but you are in jail. For what you didn't do. Kuchaha, Ukijezukora. Nyumayaho. Pharaoh. Farao had a dream. Nawe azakujirinzos. And when he had a dream, Ajizinzozi. he called all his magicians. Aha magara bakoni koni bebo. And the magicians, awa koni koni be, could not solve his dream. Nibaba shagu soba anura inzozi. And when they could not solve his dream, no neho bana nibe gu soba anura zanzozi. The butler remember. Ah, wa muhere zawa vino ariyuka. He said, "Wait a bit." Arabati mwe mure tegatu. When we were in jail, we were together with a Hebrew man, young man. And this young man no, no, interpreted our dream. And the dream, the interpretation he gave us, came true. And that's when they remembered Joseph. And when they remember Joseph, no, no, Pharaoh sent for him. Pharaoh when Pharaoh sent for him, Pharaoh he came, they Araza, shaved him, gave him new gosha, clothes, misha, and he stood before Pharaoh. He did not deviate. The Bible says, your gift will make room for you. Your gift will bring you before great men. This was not his gift. It was a gift from so God. So Joseph stands Joseph before Pharaoh. When he stands before Pharaoh. Guess what happened? He interprets the dream of Pharaoh. It is our dream Africa. That will make us. Zizatuma. One day. Africa. Africa. To be recognized. If you remember way back. Joseph. Joseph. Was called names. Joseph he was even called a dreamer. I would like to mention the names that Africa was named Africa. after. During the early times, it used to be called a dark mountain. I, I, let me just go that route also. But, but we were kufuga. also called names. But, but one mazina. day, Joseph, Joseph was remembered. Yari Listen to me, Africa. Africa, You may not be amounting to anything. But, but one day, you will be remembered. All the people you have had that have forgotten about you. One day, when they are in a fix, they will remember your help. And this time, the help will come nowhere else but from you, Africa. Africa. Remain steadfast, Africa. Do not change. Fear the Lord. The change we need to adapt I'm talking, when I say do not change, I'm talking about not changing from the fear of the Lord. Not changing from adapting going into biblical principles, staying on biblical principles. We need to adapt to change that will come. What change is, was eminent? After Joseph interpreted the dream, Pharaoh said, let's get somebody who should come and manage all of No one could do it. They said, this man who has this wisdom, let him manage it. Yesterday, he was a prisoner eating from uh, a steel plate. Today, he is eating from a golden plate. One day is one day. Africa, Africa hold on. 
ihangane Let's move further on We know what Joseph did He gathered all the wealth During the time of abundance And then he gathered it To a point where People sold their cattle People sold their land Even sold themselves Because of famine And when they had those famine, no, no, but, but Joseph was Zara. there to help them. But, but, I mean, Joseph Zara, Joseph Zara, Joseph Zara. but then days of famine Ariko, came, and, and the famine, famine became intense and chan. intense. Chan. Little did Joseph brothers and their father knew that Bari baziko urwango banze Yosefu the Lord used it to come yarukoresheje kugira ngo rubakize abakize mu bihe byari bibagoye noneho Yosefu arabakiza Africa Africa you have been forgotten mwari bagiranye you have been put aside mwashyizwe ku ruhande but that Is going to work to your advantage. Ibi bizakorera kugira ngo bibazanire ibyiza. To save the world. Kugira ngo mukize isi mu gihe kirimo kuza that will usher the second coming. Kirimo kuza mbere yigaruka ry'umwana w'Imana. Because we still fear the Lord. Kuko turacyatinya Imana. We have been isolated. Can you imagine when you read the book of Genesis? Iyo sonya mu gitabo cy'itangiriro His, he opened up to his brother he said, Hi guys, I am Joseph now you can imagine what was going on in their lives the person they hated the person they saw the person they had forgotten about now When there is hunger, no, no, he not mapa, only rescue them. He he puts grain into their bags. Ahubwo afatinga na ishira mifuka yabo, ni feza yabo ibashyiriramo. No, no, baratinya. Africa. Africa. The same people who are disadvantaged in you. Babo, mu gihe cyanyu kiraje. The scripture says, ibyanditswe byaravuga ngo ngo amahirwe abaho kuri bose kandi mu gihe kimwe the fact that africa has been disadvantaged nuko africa yahuye n'ibibazo byinshi ndetse ibyiza birimo biraza na kugira ngo icyubahiro kibikire let me say this when that moment come icyo gihe nikigera dukeneye adopt kongera gufata tukakira impinduka nk'urugero churches are now closed off amatorero menshi arafunze and so we have to go electronically rero tugomba gukoresha mudasobwa na muranda tugomba kwigisha ku nkoranya mboga ku mboga nkoranya mboga mbere yuko iki cyorezo kiza i never used to know anything called yeah ubanje ntabwo nari iki kintu kitwa facebook i had to learn to find out what is kuyiga no gushakisha ikintu kitwa facebook and after i learned to find out what is facebook menya facebook i had to learn how to preach naje kongera gusubira imaniga kubwiriza kuri facebook i had to learn the skill Nika uburyo bwo kubwiriza no ngize imbere ya kamera yigisha abantu aho nigisha imbere ya kamera gusa rero ibyo ngibyo ntago byari byoroshye ni impinduka not only is that change ntago rubyo impinduka gusa dufite we need to continue dukome dugomba gukomera gukomera because of this thing kubera ibi bintu going to the shopping mall buy it's outdated ibi, ibi, you have to do everything now ntabwo bikigezwe ahubwo ibintu byose tubigura kuri murandas no longer want a, have to have a shoe ni bagombera kugira mwarimo imbere yabo wabahagaza imbere scholars have to learn ntabwo abanyeshuri bagomba kwishyiramo kwigisha ubwabo now i'm glad ndishimye ngo ndashimye imana ngo sinkira umunyeshuri kuko ndi umwe muri abo bantu niba nta mwari mu mpagazi imbere sinibaza yuko natekana nk'iki ahubwo nakwigira mu bintu ariko iyo mwari mu mpagazi imbere n'igitsure 
Zakorera munsi y'igitutu cye ndi umuntu umwe ukorera munsi y'igitutu Africa ugomba guhinduka tugomba kurekeraho gutekereza muri ubwo buryo tugatangira kwakira yuko abanyeshuri noneho bagomba kwiga bakigisha bakabikora kandi now africa we are socializing africa tukunda gusabana turi abantu basabana tukunda gusurana tukicara tukaganira ku mafunguro tukasangira we have to change ibyo tugomba guhinduka coming together one by being covid umwasho kuza ya nicyorezo none hakanduza nabandi bose bamuri ruhande of physically coming together a masso mbona nkubone imirarangira rero tugomba kwakira iyo mpindo we normally motivate each other akenshi dukunda gusubizwa mu imbaraga iyo tugiye gusengera hamwe mu iteraniro that i have two three people ukumva yuko ufite abantu babiri cyangwa se batatu ruhande rwawe tubasha gufatana tugasenga no oya that has to change ibyo nabyo bigomba guhinduka that has to be changed and we have now to learn to on our own kubaho twenyine imbere y'Imana nizera neza ko ari byiza cyane kuri because Kuko, i now have to learn when i stand before the judgment throne of god imbere, i will be alone i have to do things being alone no longer being pushed by other people and motivated by other people. If I have to learn to fast, I have to motivate myself, motivate myself to fast on my own. If I have to fear God, I'm hungry for God. I have to read the scriptures myself and motivate myself. These are the changes that we have to adapt. I saw last year a lot of people coming to church and not coming to church. I saw last year a lot of people coming to church and not coming to church. I saw last year a lot of people coming to church and not coming to church. I saw last year a lot of people coming to church. I think it was in Italy. The men and the women they were getting married. But they were not even touching each other. The woman was on the first floor. The man was on the ground floor. Because one had corona, COVID-19. And so there has to be social distancing. I laughed at it. I said, there's no wedding here. Yes. Africans, we don't have believe in weddings like that. Abanyafrika rero kuri twebwe ubuko ntago tugwemera gutyo. A change. Izi ni mbiruka. To change. Tugomba guhinduka. Let me go to business world. The can subira mu bucuruzi cyangwa se ubushaka. In the business world. Mu bucuruzi bushabiki. Tumenyereye gushyiraho abaduka. None ho abantu kaza bakagura. During the lockdown, mu gihe cyo kuguma mu rugo Nobody's allowed on the street. You have to go to a level where you learn IT. You are stuck. Get it onto online. And let people buy online. Your fat cakes. You should deliver them to the homes. This is how precious that come. I can go on and on and on with that. If we don't adapt to the homes, we can go on and on and on with that. We might have a problem later on. When change has to come overnight. Like for example, let me go back to the example I gave right at the beginning. Let's say you were earning an equivalent of $500 a month. And all of a sudden, one day, you are told you have won a lotto of five million rand. If you did not adapt change, that wealth is going to destroy you. Maybe you need to, like Joseph, be in jail for two years to work on your character so that when the transfer of wealth comes, it will destroy you like it did with Solomon. I mean, we read in the Bible, Solomon was destroyed. By the time he was old, 
The Bible says his women turned his heart away from God. He could not handle wealth. Remember, the Bible says the wealth of the sinners are reserved for the churches. Now, if we don't adapt to change, when a rapid change comes overnight, it will destroy us. I am appealing to Africa. Remember the life of Joseph. Now, Joseph, even when he became like the ruler of the Egypt nation, the position, the status, the wealth did not destroy him. If we don't Adapt to this change early in our lives. When we come to that, it might destroy us. I am appealing to Africa. Let us adapt the change that is coming so that we should learn to do things on our own. Education, that's why we have like even long distance education. Everything has to be done differently because of the situation we are in right now. And it might move on. It may never come back to where we used to be. It might even be worse. It might be you, if you don't do one, two, three, you may not be able to even trade online. We have to adapt to change. We have to be careful. I pray that as this conference continues, it will motivate all of us to adapt to change so that we might be relevant in these days we are living in. These are no days where we could pitch up a tent and, and, and play instruments no, no, and all people come and, and we lead them to the Lord. No, no, we have to Christ. adapt to change. To, to find alternative means no, no, of bringing people into the kingdom. Remember Africa. You are the hope of the world. Because you have been disadvantaged for the sake of the kingdom. May the good Lord richly bless you. Heavenly Father, this evening, I pray as we reflect on the life of Joseph in the name of Jesus we will remember that the disadvantage of the present does not determine the dispensation of the future. Heavenly Father, the life of Joseph, Heavenly Father, it gives us faith to trust in the Lord. That Lord, you will use Africa for the glory that will usher the second coming of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen.